Hey guys, it's David here, and today I'm bringing you a new David Asks with amazing special guest, Davey Wavy. Hello! And you guys all know who he is, but if by any chance you've missed out, go on to his channel. Yeah, He's I know. That guy <laughs> really bright, but I'm sure you can't recognize him. It's Sorry, for you. It's just for me. Yeah. You got dressed up? I tried to be proper. And... Did it take 45 minutes to get all dressed up? It was really confusing for me. I couldn't figure out where my arms went, where my head goes. <laughs> the best part is that I just made a blatant Beyonce reference and it just went whoosh. Oh yeah, I know. I don't listen to music. Anyway, okay, so we're gonna hop right into questions. The way this works is, uh, this is a book of random questions. I read them off and David will answer them. I'll get to know him better. You'll get to know him better. He will get to know himself. Better. Wow. It's okay. A pretty. This is self indulgent. Right. This. I mean, hey, it's all about you. Your first question is What's the best thing about your life right now? This sounds like I'm like pandering, but I think the best thing about my life is that I'm on YouTube and that I have the ability to impact a large number of people. Right, and in addition to that, in a way that hasn't existed before this medium. Like, yeah. It's a whole new audience of people to affect. And and I think like like I'm I've been doing this long enough that like and, and I'm old enough that I lived in a world where there wasn't YouTube mm -hmm. and that I could say something and that no one cared. And now I have like I'm really grateful that when I do make a video or when I do tweet something or something on Instagram, like that people see it and interact with it and that's really fun. And also that if someone recognizes you from YouTube, there's a 99% chance they'll sleep with you. What was the last item you purchased? Oh, it's probably that because it just it was just Pride. Did they know that? We just had Pride here in Los Angeles. Yeah, my first LA Pride. It was pretty crazy. So it was probably like a... Uh, God, I'm trying to think this is like really... Oh my God, no, you know what it was? What? It was hair dye because I bleached my hair and it came out really bad. So then I had to buy, this isn't my real color. Oh my God. I had to buy dark brown to bleach it I didn't back. even notice. Wait, do you have any pictures from it? Uh, Can I please see the pictures? Off the record, I will show you the pictures. Okay. What's the weirdest thing you heard or saw recently? Well, seeing as it was Pride, at the parade, I got I got attacked by a swarm of, of, of gay Mormons. That was a pretty unique situation. Wow. Did you see the Mormon contingent? No. They were very excitable. I just imagine the cast of Book of Mormon approaching you pretty and much doing the music. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they were all hugging. I mean, they were very friendly people. Okay, well then that's amazing. Yeah. Right? Yeah, hashtag blessed. What is your worst nervous habit? I like bite at and like pick on, here's the oh, worst I... part. Like not just my nails though, but the skin around them. R right, like they're like hang, they're not hang nails, but like they're like waiting to become. It's filthy. No, I do that too. And I've been trying to like my new year's resolution. You're <laughs> Right, we both are. <laughs> lying on your shirt, it agrees. I was once on a date with a boy, and I didn't realize I was doing it. We were driving somewhere, and he like looked over as I was like pulling this like massive Ooh. like piece of like skin off my, off my <laughs> nail. And he was like, "What is that? What is that?" And that's when I realized that I had a problem. Who brings out the best in you? There's two groups of people. My parents bring out the best in me. I think because they have like really high expectations for me. The audience, the people that watch our videos, also has like high expectations and. They're so energetic and so loving and friendly that I feel like when I'm around them, I can't help but like kind of become like enveloped in that. I did daily vlogging for yeah. a while. Being seen every day and being held accountable for like my attitude on a daily basis. Right. It made me look at things in a more positive light. If there was an issue that came up, I was less likely to just complain about it and more likely to try and voice what I think the positive outcome is, how to deal with it. It's like the, your audience raises the bar on you. Right. Raising the bar like, wait, which fun company was that? So is this sing at and That's going to be for my time. Singular? Singular? It's going to be my time, honey. Okay, well that's all for questions, but thank you so much, Davey, yeah. for participating. Thanks I for hope that me. you had some fun. You got to know yourself a little bit better. I did, yes. Right? And I'm sure that y'all enjoyed getting to know him better. I know that I did. And if you want to see more of me and Davey, you can definitely hop on over to his channel and check that out. And while you're over there, make sure you subscribe to him if you're not already. And other than that, I thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you very soon. Bye! And it's not for the thing apart. It was, it, was, it was one of those DIY like, hair dyeing projects gone really, really wrong. See, yeah, I had to dye my hair dark brown with box dye, and like that worked fine, but I'd never gone for the bleaching thing. Right, that's where the error was. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I couldn't imagine. I'm I so think it sorry. might fall out now. It's just gonna come out in clumps. Please don't. It'll be fine. We're praying for you.